Hi, I'm DJ Shurs. And I'm Kyra. And this is The Robot Program. And in today's episode, we're going to be, well, I'm going to be showing you how to make <laughs> JD dance. And I'm going to be completely hands off, other than having to type in a password, I think, in one screen of the software. But I know, it's my password. <laughs> so uh, shall we begin? Sounds good. Definitely. So the first thing you're going to want to do is load up Easy Builder. So click on the bottom left icon and select Easy Builder. This is the Easy Builder software, which is used to control Easy Robots. Probably a good thing. That's right. Probably and this is thing. the Easy Robot School. We're not going to go to that today. So click Skip. You have me today, so we don't need that. Nice. <laughs> now click on where it says Example Projects in the bookmark window. It's in the middle of the screen. Haha. -ha. There you go. There we go. Now we're going to load the JD Bear project. Mm -hmm. Do you see it there? Over here. Yeah. Click on open. Great. Now it wants us to put it together. We have already have put it together. So. What? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so let's let's push not now. And as a servo profile, we already have this configured. So select the JD servo profile. Just select that up there where it says JD. Oh. There we go. Bam. And then yeah. choose yeah. load. Bam. Perfect. Now, this is a bear project, which means it only has movements for JD. Mm -hmm. So movements like walking and a bunch of dance routines. All right. So we're going to take a I think, song. I think I know what you have in mind then. <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a song off the internet and we're going to add it into the project. Okay. And then you're going to select a bunch of different animations and actions Ooh. to make JD <laughs> dance to a song that you like. Okay. All right. You have a music channel that you like to listen to music from. True. All right. So let's go to that website and let's see if they have any music that we can download and use. Mm, let's just, aha. 99 lives. Okay. Perfect. Sweet. So I'm just going to, okay. Something, something or other like that. Maze in the sun. All right. So why don't you click on that? There we go. Excellent. Okay. So now we're logged in. So you can pause that so it doesn't play and click download track. There we go. Awesome. Sweet. All right. Now we can close this whole web browser down because we won't need it anymore. Bam. All right. Now, the control that we're going to add to the project to play music um, is called the soundboard. 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 Okay. So select project from the top and then choose add controls. And then select the audio tab because we're uh, playing music. Music. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to add the soundboard. Now you see there's two soundboards here? Yes. One is PC, one is EZB. Mm -hmm. Well, the controller inside of an EZ robot is called an EZB. Oh, okay. If you added the EZB one, the sound will come out of here. Okay. If you add the PC one, it'll come out of here. So you guess we're going to want it to come out of the robot. Fair enough. Then he, could, he can take it with him on a journey. <laughs> That's right. So why don't we select that? Great. Now you see it's added it here. Ah. Okay. So let's select our MP3 file that we had just download it. Okay. So choose on, just select any of the blank space. You see here where it's oh, blank? Yeah, yeah. click on that. Okay. Sweet. Now it downloaded to the downloads folder. So choose downloads. Aha. Uh -huh. And where is our song? I think it was this one. Okay, see all the other tracks that are downloaded? <laughs> Those are because we did a Star Wars episode yesterday. I don't know what you're talking about. May the 4th be with you. <laughs> so why don't you select the, yeah, select the Electro Light Maze. Yeah. And it's been added. Uh -huh. All right, now we have to connect to the robot. Mm. So that we can start making him do something. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna turn him on. And you always turn your robot flat on its back. And of course, it's freshly charged, the batteries. So mm. Otherwise, he won't make it through a whole dance routine. Then he perhaps. can't go on his full journey. <laughs> he will not be able to go on a full journey. So let's connect to his Wi Fi. And that actually is the bottom icon. It looks like a little computer on to the right. Aha. That one there. And it's the top one on the list. So collect. let's connect to him. Okay. Now there's a connect button on the actual software you have to connect to. And watch mm. out, he's going to jump into position. This one? Yep. Oh. There we go. Okay, let's get him to stand up on his own. Mm, around here so somewhere. Stand from sit. Go down. There it is. Let's Aha. select that and we'll get JD to stand up on his own. Sweet. So let's get him to stand up. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Hello, JD. Okay, now let's click on the edit button for the soundboard. There you right go. Here? Now you see that? All oh that? My. You know what that is? All the sound wave things. You got it. Let's ah. just push, push play and we should hear the song start playing out of JD. <laughs> there it starts. There we go. Okay, so we know it works. So let's push stop. Now, 
Here's how we get to make JD do all these different motions and dances along with the okay. music. If you right click on any of the sound mm, waves. Let's go here. And then you can go down to actions. You see there's a huge list of oh all my. these different actions that JD can do. Oh, now I gotta make decisions. That's right. Now, before we begin, let's get away from this for a second. We'll go back. You see this little blue line that's there? Put your mm -hmm. cursor on that. That was moving as the music was playing. Mm -hmm. That's your timestamp. That's showing you where mm -hmm. the time is so you can see when you add different motions and actions okay. to the sound, where they're gonna play. So at the very beginning, we might want him to, and I'll just get you get you rolling here, get the ball rolling. I'll suggest there's a head bob. The very beginning. <laughs> That sounds good. <laughs> okay, so let's somewhere in the very beginning, like maybe right there. Yeah. Choose actions. And then head bob in here somewhere. So there's two. There's a head bob and head bob feet. So let's just try head bob. Ooh, sounds good. And if you want, we can right click a little bit farther. We can do head bob with his feet. So we can start off. So maybe right where the music starts playing, right there. Yeah. Okay. Now choose actions. Choose head bob feet. Head bob feet. Okay, now do you want to just tr see what we've done? Sounds good. Okay, push play. <laughs> okay, so let's push stop. Uh, now you get an idea of, of how the time is in the distance. When you put your cursor over here, you, saw, you see up in the top left, it's showing you a time that's moving. Oh, yeah. That time that's showing is where actually the number of seconds into the music. Okay. So it gives you an idea of where you want to put place your action and then how many seconds you want for the action to run before the next action. Okay. okay, so I'm, I'm going to now stand clear and oh, let no. you <laughs> add some actions. Maybe like around here. Maybe like here we can add okay. something. Hmm. How about something like a shimmy? I know what that is. Okay, <laughs> shimmy is good. Now we'll run that for a few seconds and then... Maybe something a little bit later we can add, let's say... Hmm. Disco dance. That mm. sounds good. Never lose with a disco dance. <laughs> uh, and then maybe just for a little bit, and then we'll add something else. Like, hmm, you can do a gorilla. <laughs> okay. Gorilla is part of the dance for sure. <clears throat> uh, and then, but just for, just for even shorter time, just okay. real quick. Just, just a little bit of gorilla. And then he can do us some happy, yeah, happy hands. Okay, shall we just try that out and see what we got? Yeah, All okay, right. let's see how coordinated this is. Okay. <laughs> you have to dance with him, you know, I didn't tell you that part. Uh, I don't know about that one. I will, then. <laughs> how's that sound? I'm a sucker for music. <laughs> oh! The shimmy. Nice! And that's how you left him, doing this. Yeah, that okay. sounds pretty good. <laughs> so why don't you click stop again? And now you see how long we did the hands dance for. Mm -hmm. So maybe that was good, you know, because he kind of went through a lot of quick motions. That's true. Maybe yeah, good maybe idea. like, run for a little just bit. let him chill for a little while. Okay, so let's let's keep going. I think that, I don't have to do the whole song, but we can go to the to that part of the chorus, where oh, okay. the chorus ends there. Yeah. Fair enough. Maybe he can do a grab. A grab. All right. Yeah, he can just grab the air because he's super cool like that. <laughs> yes, he is. And then he can maybe go forward a little bit. And then maybe we can bring in some other stuff like he do some disco again. Just so he seems like he has a little bit of a pattern. I like it. I like it. <laughs> just a little bit though. Okay. And then... How about fly? Can I suggest one and put fly? fly. Yeah, I don't think you've seen fly yet. I don't think I have. No. Inter Interesting. Now, fly <laughs> might be quite a number of seconds. So okay. let's just run it as it is so we can okay. see how long fly takes. Sounds okay? good. Okay, now how we're going to do that is I want you to right click in the middle here and just choose play from here. So we're going to play them. Yeah, you see ah, the there we go. Yeah. There we go. What's going to happen is we're going to play the music. That way from that spot so we can watch fly. Okay. And we can see how long it's going to take on the screen. Okay. So push stop when he gets back up. Like about there. There. Now we know Sweet. where the next motion can start. That's a good plan. Okay. So okay. let's let's add one from that point there. 
That was like perfectly in, in with the music too. That was, was. so good. Um, maybe he. Oh, could... you can also put your cursor down farther. You see what oh, that little line is? There's even more. Yeah, oh, and you can click on that. There you go. Uh, there we go. And there's other ones. There's somersault in there. There's a few. Oh my gosh. Maybe he could do. Hmm. He could do some sit-ups and just show show his abs. <laughs> you give him a workout, all right. Yeah, yeah. JD's going to get a workout while he does his dance. <laughs> this is turning into a, Z a Zumba video. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that way it's worth it to dance along. All right. So we're going to have to again see how long the sit-ups take. Mm, so that's true. So let's start okay. again a little bit before it. Um, play from here. Okay. JD's going to show me off. Show me up with his <laughs> sit-up. <laughs> Make sure he's got enough room to get up. He does. Ah, he's okay. Okay, now get ready to push stop. Right about there. Right about there. Okay, okay. so what's next? Um. Well, this is a great I dance. I don't know. Maybe he could do... What a headstand. Head... Oh. Oh, now it's really a Zumba video. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we'll get him out to do it and test yeah. off the headstand. We'll have to see how long that one takes. Okay. Nice. And you have to do that as well. Uh, I don't know about that one. <laughs> and right there. there. Okay, so why don't we stop the music at that point? Okay. All right. Maybe have him take a bow and he'll be okay, happy. Okay, let's add the bow in there. I think there is a bow Sweet. as well. I think I saw that one somewhere. Right Aha! Top. Sweet. Okay, let's see how long the bow is. That's probably a good plan. <laughs> And stop. Right. There we go. And then, so right where that is, right click on, on that line and say delete everything after here. Oh, okay. After here. There. Ah. So that's the end of the song now. So he will completely stop. Nice. All right. So you ready to watch your first dance? Sounds good. Let's okay. do it. Let's push play. All right, JD, All take right. it from the top. <laughs> He's in good time. It's true. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my favorite. <laughs> you need like a lighter. <laughs> There's the grab. <laughs> I think you came up with a pretty good dance. For your first thank you, time. thank you. I should, oh, I should be a choreographer. Oh, he's yeah. a bird. He is. <laughs> and here's a Zumba video. Here we yeah. go. Gotta do that workout. <laughs> I would join you, JD, but I did all my sit-ups earlier today. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, JD. <laughs> That's impressive. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I can do a headstand. Oh, really? Not anymore. Oh. Because we had a plan, actually, after this. Mm -hmm. You have to do the exact same dance that you programmed JD to do. Oh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so, how did you feel about creating that dance? It was pretty, pretty fun? It was like... Not too hard, yeah. and like I feel like there's so many options. You could just make something crazy, or <laughs> again, a Zumba workout video, do it along with a robot. <laughs> That's true. So we can close this down now. So push the close button. Sweet. And now all of our settings for the dance have been saved with the soundboard. Oh. So if we ever want to reload this project again, we can save it right now to the computer. So why don't we do that? Click on File. And then choose the button that says Save As. Aha. And let's give it a name. Let's call um, it. Dance, Dance, uh, Zumba. That's what it's going to be called. <laughs> the Dance, Dance, Zumba. All right. Now, why don't you click Save again? There you go. Save that. Now, here's the best part. We can actually save this project on the internet. And other people can download it, and they can actually load your dance. Oh, no way. So let's do that right now, because okay. if you're watching this episode and you want to see the dance we just created, we'll actually let you 
open it up and run it for yourself. Yeah, the Dance Dance Zumba, guys. The Dance Dance Zumba. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Save button where it says Easy Cloud oh. to the right. Oh, oh, there we go. There Save we go. Easy Cloud. That's right. See? Now we're going to give this a file name. So we're going to call it up the top, Dance Dance Zumba. <laughs> uh, I'll do capitals this time. Okay. Oh, Zumba. Oh, one word. Do you know what it's called when you type in a word that's one word with capital letters? No. In programming, we call that camel case. Oh. Yeah, because it's case. just like the camels, uh, right? That's smart. Camel has humps. That's right. <laughs> now, where it says description, let's delete what's in there and type in a description of what you just did. Um, here's, uh, if I could find the apostrophe, <laughs> there we go. Here's a fun dance. You should dance along. <laughs> and those who can dance along and do the head headstand, definitely send us a video in because we want to see that. All right. So and you see where it says tags. We've selected humanoid and it's complete. So those mm -hmm. are good. The type of EZB we're using is the V4, which is good. And that looks like everything that we're going to need. So all we have to do now is click on the save button. Bam. And it says, would you like to make this project Marcus public? Mm -hmm. Yes. Everyone can dance along. Now, this is a great option right here. Every time you save a project to the cloud, mm -hmm. to the internet, you can make a log of all of your revisions. Oh. So every time you make a change, you can go back to a previous version if you want. Hmm. What's asking you is, are there any changes to this than the last time you've saved it? So now you just have to enter in a description of the first time we saved this. So why don't you just type in and say, this is like, my first save. Okay. Perfect. Sweet. And now I click the save button. There we go. And off it goes to the cloud. Have fun, internet. Enjoy. <laughs> and there you go. It's been saved. Push OK. So now, any of you want to run the Dance Dance Zumba, you can download the file. <laughs> and we'll have a link, of course, in the description of this video. For all the world to see. For all the world to see. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us. Bye. In this episode, we showed you how to create your own custom dance for your Revolution JD robot. As always, start with a freshly charged robot and connect as we do in previous episodes. You can find MP3 files for your dance by searching for music on any royalty-free website. Use the soundboard control to import your music and click Edit to see the waveform. Use the timestamps to choreograph where you would like your JD to perform an action in different locations in the music. Make sure to measure the length of each action so that it can play in completion before you add the next step. You can save your dance locally for next time, or you can share it on the Easy Cloud for all the world to see. Thanks for watching this episode, and we'll see you next time. Which control window is used for adding movements to a sound? What can be used to mark where the actions are placed within a waveform? Why is it important to measure how long an action takes to play? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.